Hello to everybody, on today's video I wanted to share some points with you about the last 24 hours Le Mans race that we saw last weekend at the Circuit de la Sarté in Le Mans. For those who haven't seen the race yet, I really recommend you to do so. It was freaking awesome, it was plenty of uh, surprises, two Toyotas out of the race and perhaps this is something I wanted to talk further into you, as you have seen the title of the video. I wanted to especially talk about what happened to the Toyota number 7 that was driving Kamui Kobayashi and leading the course that when only lasting 14 hours to the end of the race, it suddenly broke down, it stopped. Apparently Kamui Kobayashi had clutch problems, what meant that he couldn't take the car back to the boxes to repair it and that was the end of the race for him. Problems for Kamui Kobayashi started just after he left the pit lane, after a pit stop. But what happened in that pit stop? Well, nothing especially wrong with the mechanics, touching the car, refueling with the wheels, nothing wrong with that. But when he was exiting the pit lane, he found the pit lane exit was closed due to a safety car. Well, no problem. He then had to wait at the traffic light with the engine uh, turned on. So why had Kamui Kobayashi his engine started while being stand while being stopped at the pit lane? Well the fact is that many endurance racers do this in order to keep its engine warm and at maximum performance. So they do not stop their uh, combustion engine but in these hybrid car in these hybrid cars what they do is to start from uh, zero kilometers into first gear, into second gear, with only the electric motor engaged. So they can have the uh, combustion engine turned on, but it is not engaged with the clutch. So these hybrid, high performance cars, what they do is they start from north to uh, 30, 40 kilometers per hour in only electric power. So, well, here's the point. The Toyota number 7 was then stopped at the pit lane exit by a steward that uh, required him to leave not only until the uh, traffic light was green, so okay, it's okay with that. But what happened next is that apparently someone that was dressed with a um, steward clothing alike that resulted, that turned it to be a real pilot that was just waiting uh, for his time to be in the car uh, when, when Kobayashi was stopped at the pit lane exit that mysterious racing driver uh, just went to the car and made some sign and make a sign to him like hey great work dude but Kobayashi understood that he could leave the pit lane exit and asked that uh, driver was dressed like or uh, had a very similar dressing as the stewards. He suddenly started the car with the uh, thermic and uh, with the combustion engine on and uh, engaging the clutch. So he did not use the electric power to uh, accelerate the car. This caused the clutch to support a very enormous amount of torque. And this is something that these hypercars are not designed to. This is why only a few meters after this uh, start, Kobayashi noticed some problems and had to stop uh, at the side of the track. And this brings me to the point that why these high performance cars that are designed to uh, endure at least more than 24 hours covering a total distance of more than 4,000 kilometers in just a single day. How is it possible that a clutch, I mean, it's okay, the car is designed to start only in electric power, but what if you do the same as Kobayashi? I mean, I think they should be designed to resist that uh, kind of force, that torque, and yeah, even though it's not optimal to start with a thermic engine, and with the clutch, with a mechanical system that you should do in a electric powertrain, it's okay, but I mean, this doesn't say much about 
uh, in favor of Toyota. Another fact is that uh, a teammate of Kamui Kobayashi has said that this was all caused by this mysterious steward, but in fact it was Kobayashi who started the car with the combustion engine turned on and applying the clutch. So to me, it, it sounds like Toyota has lost again the 24 hours of Le Mans and they are trying to find someone guilty for that. And okay, perhaps that mysterious pilot didn't act properly, perhaps the, the gesture he made was misunderstanding, but uh, in the last point, it is the pilot who's driving the car responsible for driving it properly. And if he had no uh, green light turn on, he shouldn't have uh, exit the pit lane and if he did so, he could have done it with the electric motor. So here are my thoughts, here are my uh, opinions, uh, make me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think about Toyota missing again the 24 hours of Le Mans and what happened with Toyota number 7 uh, driven by Kamui Kobayashi that had to abandon the race when there were still 14 hours left. Thanks for watching and see you next time!